Hi, I'm Rebecca Thompson. Today I'm going to be conducting a lab titled Soccer Physics. It was put on by education.com and posted by Muriel Gerard. My dad will be helping me with this project. And um, the purpose of this experiment is to find out how the pressure in a soccer ball affects the distance that it travels when kicked. And my hypothesis is that the greater the air pressure in the ball, the further the distance the ball will travel. Um, and it's May 2nd, 2015. All right, in order to conduct this experiment, we have, of course, a soccer ball, also a ball pump with a pressure gauge on it, and a measuring tape, and then a pendulum that my dad and I put together. It has a weight on the bottom that will make it swing, and then uh, a tennis shoe, an old tennis shoe that we have what size? secured onto it. What size tennis shoe? Yeah. It's a size uh, nine. Okay. And we'll take this back to a 90 degree angle and let it drop every time. And the ball will rest right here. Um, so yeah. All right, at this point, I'm actually going to start gathering data by doing the experiment. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm only going to show the first trial and the last trial, um, which there should be 10 trials, starting with 10 PSI in the ball and moving down to zero. But here's the first trial, 10 PSI in the ball. Let's see what happens. And at this point, my mom's going to help by marking where the ball hits. <laughs> Alright, for trial 1 at 10 PSI, the ball traveled 9 feet and 1 inch. Alright, so trial 11 now, and this is at 0 PSI. I just, once, as soon as it got to 0, I pulled the thing out, so let's see how it goes. All right, for trial 11, we've got 12 feet and 10 inches. All right, now for the results. Um, I put in a data chart, I put the, um, the air pressure in PSI on one side and then I converted the distances from inches and feet to meters. So take a look at it. The graph that you saw kind of went up and down and was not really consistent. So my hypothesis by this lab seems to have been proved wrong. It seems that the pressure in the ball doesn't seem to really affect the distance it travels, but um, actually, scientifically proven, the more air pressure, the further the ball is supposed to go. So what this means is that this experiment was imperfect and there must have been other variables messing around with it. So whether it was that uh, this didn't read the exact air pressure or whether it was that the foot on this arm didn't hit somehow exactly the same way each time or whether it was that the, the way that it was hit it wasn't hit hard enough or far enough for you to be able to really tell. Maybe it only works if you hit it really hard. Um, what I would say is in order to improve this is to have something that will hit the soccer ball at a much further distance and hit it more flat. That way you get the same 
um, kind of hit every single time. And some, make sure you have something that will read the exact pressure and exact distance. Um, but those are some tools that I can't exactly have. But I think the main thing is the way that it's hit. It needing to be hit the same way every time and needing to be hit with more force because you can really get an accurate reading if the ball is traveling way across a field. So, hopefully if you try this, yours turns out better than mine. But thanks for watching.